Tommy, a, a brilliant victory coming from behind there to, to claim all three points after a long travel and, and a cold afternoon. Well, I didn't think it was cold. You're up <laughs> north now, Sam. This is, this is normal, mate. But, um, yeah, listen, I'm delighted. I'm delighted with the result, but I'm also really pleased with the performance. I think although we went behind, it might have been a, a bit of a blessing in disguise, to be honest, because... I think we're Achilles' heel of late has been getting ahead and possibly relaxing a little bit. And, you know, team, we've let teams back into games. But one thing I know about my group is that they, they, they take going behind in a stride. And I, and I didn't think we deserved to be behind. I thought Jordy was a little unlucky because it took a little nick on the way past him. Um, so at half time, I was really, really measured in my approach. And it was like, I think we've got the tools on the pitch to get ourselves in this game. And I definitely know we've got the tools on the bench to come and win it if they need to. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm standing here a very, very proud uh, manager because when the plan comes together, it's really, really good. But I'm, I'm delighted for everybody because they're a tight-knit group um, and I've had, to, I've had to put one or two out um, on loan. But mm. people have to realise sometimes it's the, the player's choice, not just my choice. Um, and that, that's been the case with that. Um, but listen, I don't think it'll be two better substitutes not used than the two that I didn't use today. And that shows you how strong we are. Lorenz goal came just after half time. That obviously must be brilliant for, for vindication of your half time team talk, maybe. Well, I, like I said, I didn't think we were doing an awful lot wrong in the first half. I think we had chances. Their goalkeeper made some really good saves mm. in the first half, and we fluffed a couple, which them, them strikers don't usually fluff. So, uh, you know, I, was, I thought it might be one of them days where it's not going to go in for them. But listen, I trust, I trust all, all six strikers that we've now got, and uh, I think they'll all score goals between now and the end of the season. Lorenz goal was seen with. Uh, after a couple of chances in the first half, almost carbon copies, really, wouldn't it? Oli Harfield down the left, Ryan Glover down the right, get a ball in, play it back to Laurent, and, and he has a pop. Was that something you maybe targeted? Well, I think it's an area that we, we targeted it in their, from their point of view. I thought there was a weakness in a certain area that we, we could exploit on occasions. And when we did, even in the first half, like you said, we, we got into the areas we, we knew we could hurt them. So, you know, with a bit of luck, we could, I think we could have scored a couple of more goals. I think Jordy's made a couple of good saves. It was a good game. I mean, I don't like, you know, their manager will probably not think the same thing, but, but I just thought it was a decent game of football. They were very well coached, so you can tell that. They're very organised, they've got a way of playing. And this is a tough place to come. The pitch is a little soft, um, but the, the shots fans that have come up all this way, I mean, they looked like it was a couple of hundred of them to me. They just never stopped the whole, even when we were behind. I Glover on the drum. Um, you know, I just thought it, it's been a great away day. It way day. And Kwame getting another important goal. He seems to really pop up in important moments, doesn't he? Yeah, listen, I value every member of the squad. <clears throat> and he's that. He's a, he's a real, he's a top, top professional. I keep saying this. He acts impe impeccably well on the training ground and on match days. And he must be disappointed that he doesn't start games. But it's just the mechanics of the way we are at the minute that he, he hasn't started so many. But, <clears throat> but like I said, his contribution has been invaluable, whether he scores or whether he doesn't. We have a bit of a break now to our next game, don't we? So is it a little period of relaxation, a bit of rest and then straight back into it? Yeah, without a doubt. I think, you know, we've, we've got 15 games left, which is a third of the season still. So it's, it's not, I wouldn't call it the running, but it's a long one. You know, 15 games that we can re-energise and I'm going to give the lads a couple of days off. Um, they, can, they can not have to listen or see me for a few days, which is good. So, yeah, I, I want them to go and enjoy themselves for a couple of days, but then get themselves moving again and be re-energised for when we come back in. We'll have a normal period of training sessions, the same amount we would if we were playing on a Saturday, just that we should knock it back a day. We'll be training Saturday, Sunday into the final game. Sorry, Sunday, Monday into the final game rather than the Thursday, Friday.